Hi, welcome back to another watch video and today we have an Amiga 1861 and the predecessor to this is an 861 and the predecessor to that is a 321 which was the original Speedmaster movement so this is like the third generation it's been slightly modified but basically it's the same thing so let's have a quick look have a look at that nice movement there, lovely so this is the start stop lever here which we're going to press shortly and this moves the upper cam and lower cam there's two cams there bolted together this is the chronograph lever which is spring loaded here which has the fourth wheel chronograph wheel which is mounted to the fourth wheel so it's riveted on uh, friction fit and this wheel here then once the lever started moves in and gears with the center seconds chronograph wheel so i'm going to see what happens when we press the start stop lever so there you go so now this is engaged so this will move round after one minute it hits the intermediate minute recording wheel and then at the minute recording wheel depending on any chronograph watch the amount of teeth here would denote what's on the dial so if it's 60 teeth on here it'd be a 60 minute recorder 45 30 20 it doesn't really matter what well, after one minute this will jump over so we're just looking for this wheel now to move And there you go, it's just jumped over. So this has moved one tooth. So now we'll stop that. So now it's stopped. This has moved out and this is no longer geared. And now we're going to reset it. So when we reset, we push this in this spring here to this start stop mechanism moves out the way and then this reset lever here hits these cams and this what flies back and so you watch this in action and there you go so these have just hit the cam. This wheel has moved back and this has moved back. So if there's hands on this, you can imagine they'll fly back round, back to zero. So that's what it's doing. So I'm just gonna do that again in quick succession. So start, stop, and then watch it reset. So there you go, that's it. Basic description, but it just shows anyone who's not used to seeing these movements, how they work. And I'm gonna just stop the camera and flip over the, uh, the movements so you can see what's actually going on underneath the dial. Okay, so this is the dial side. So here we have the barrel and the hour recorder. So the hour recorder is permanently geared to the barrel and underneath here is a friction spring and this is overcome by the hour recorder start stop. This is spring loaded and it puts friction onto the hour recorder. So when we press start, which you'll see now, this has come away so you see the gap so this now allows the hour recorder just to start moving with the barrel 
and then once you finish press stop it's gone back in and then we're going to hit the reset button so just watch now the the return hammer goes right in and hits the cam on the hour recording wheel and there you go and also cleverly pushes off the the start stop lever for the hour recorder pushes it away so there's a gap there and as i just slowly re release my hands goes back in and there you go that's the hour recording function i'll just show you the handset there oh there you go you can see it better and that's it that's the uh the speedmaster movement so that's just a quick demonstration on how it works brief um, description on the functionality of it um, hope you find this useful and i'll see you in the next one